Hi everyone, in this video we're going to learn how to express the log expression into a single logarithm. Uh, we have a question A, example A until example O. So let's uh, look at the first example, log 2 plus log x. So here I got two terms of the log, which is uh, first one log 2, second one is log x. How do I combine them together? Before that, we must know that is a loss of log, which I have um, both, uh, for example, if I have uh, two terms of log, both of them having the same base, that is base A. If I have uh, this, um, this is N, this is N, these two terms can be combined by depending on this um, operation. If this operation is uh, addition, then we need to check whether the base of these two log term is it having the same base. If they are having the same base, we can combine them. And uh, these two terms can be combined until the n multiplied by n. So we have a log mn base of a. Same thing over here. If I have a two terms of log over here, where this uh, ln log means that it has a base of uh, e. Alright, base of e. The second term also having the base of E. And now I want to combine them. I need to check two, two things. That is the base. If uh, they are same base, then uh, this rules of log is valid. Can be applied into this uh, question. So now we know we got two terms of log. And uh, they are having the same base. And the operation over here is the addition. We can combine them just like that using the 2 multiplied by x. The 2 over here multiplied by x. So these two, they ha they're having the same value. That is uh, log e, log 2x base of e is equal to the log 2 plus log x. And you also can change the log base of e into the ln. Because uh, ln is a nat natural log, which means that uh, log log base of e. Proceed to the second example. I want to combine them. I want to make them into the single log, single term. I can combine them by using the rules of log, which log n to the base of a plus log n to the base of a can be written as a log n n to the base of a. So to apply these rules of log, first thing we need to check base. Are they having the same base? If the base is not written here, means that both of them having the base of 10. Alright. And then after that, we need to check the uh, operation. If the operation is an uh, addition, then we can use, uh, we can apply this loss of log by combining them with the base of 10 and p multiplied by q. For this example, we need to modify um, the first term into the log x squared. Bring the 2 to the square of x and minus log 4. Because to apply the rules of uh, in uh, rules of log, log a m plus log n to the base of a, first thing we need to take note is the uh, uh, coefficient of the log. The coefficient of the log must be 1 first. So now the question is 2 log x. So I need to bring the 2 to become the power of the uh, x, okay, x squared, so that it becomes 1 over here. And this is also 1. Alright. Um, but for these uh, rules, we need to apply this because our operation is minus. When you have the operation is a subtraction, you need to... Uh, uh, apply these rules, that is uh, m divided by n. Okay, so when the operation is a minus, means that you need to check two things, the base and the operation. If the operation is a minus, you need to take the m divided by n. This is uh, the other, this is the next, uh, second rules of law. So now, I can see that my term, two terms having the same base, that is the base e, and the operation is minus, so I will apply the second rule, second uh, loss of log, which 
I will taking the x square divided by 4. Alright, so this is the way we combine them into the single term. If you would like to uh, further simplify, you can do like that. That is a log uh, x over 2 square. And then bring the 2 to the front by applying the other rules of uh, loss of log. You have this. That is a 2 log x over 2. For this example, both terms are not having the coefficient of 1. So we need to do some modification. Bring the 3 become the power plus log r power of 4. If uh, again, if the base is not stated here, means that it has the base of 10. So I will combine them by using the uh, first rule, which uh, I have uh, show you just now. The first rule, the first uh, why we use the first rule because the addition, the operation is an addition. So I'm going to combine them by multiplying the x power of 3 and r power of this is the answer. Example E, this is a simple one because both of them having the coefficient 1. And now the operation is minus and the base, they having the same base. We can apply the uh, loss of log, which are taking the Q divided by R because of their operation minus. For the example L, I need to move the N become the power of the k and minus log j. So again, they are having the base of 10. We can just combine them. And because of the operation is minus, we are taking the k power of n divided by j. Example g, the first term, just leave it like that. And we need to modify this uh, uh, to bring, bring it up as the power of 1 minus x. So now you have a 1 minus x power of 2. And both of them, both of these two terms having the base of e, we can just combine them by applying the rules of log, which is I'm taking the x because of the operation minus, I'm taking the x divided by 1 minus x squared. Having this example, I need to modify, bring the 2 up to become the power. And then the same thing for the 1 over 2. 1 over 2 I bring up, I got the power of 1 over 2 and then check the operation minus and the base. They're having the same base that we, we can be sure that we can combine them by just taking the x squared divided by x minus 1 to the power of 1 over 2 or you might say that x minus 1 power of 1 over 2 can be written as a sort of square root of x minus 1. And this is a very simple question. Both of them having the base of 10 and the operation is minus. Just combine them by just divide the 3 over x. This question is slightly different from the previous question because there is a 1 over here. So if you want to combine them to become the single log, I would like to change this the 1 into the log form, which I have a log e. Because log e base of e is equals to 1. Why I choose the log base E? Because uh, I look at the second term also having the log base E. So I should change to this, I uh, mean um, uh, the first term, I should have the same base with the second second term so that I can combine them later on. Now I got the log E minus log X. To combine them, having the same base and the operation minus, we can combine them just by uh, taking the E divided by Again, I need to bring the 2 to uh, become the power of the x. So I got my uh, log x squared minus log y power of 3. Now, this coefficient become 1, operation minus base. Or they are having the same base. You can combine them by using the rules of uh, log. Just taking the x squared divided by y cubed. If I have 2 plus log f and would like to combine them into the single log, first thing, you need to convert the 2 into the log form. Alright? And we need to refer to the second term. Second term having the base of e. Yeah? Log having uh, log base of e. 
So I need to change the two into the in a in a form of log by having the base in uh, e also. Then uh, because I know that the log e base of e is equals to one, and one multiplied by two still will be two. Eh? Plus the other second term that is my log x. In order to combine them, I need I need to make sure that the coefficient of the log must be one first. So I bring the two up and become the power of the e plus the second term log x. So now we can com just combine them uh, by multiplying e squared by the x. Another example that I have a constant plus a log uh, term, I need to combine them into the single log, so I need to change the 2 into the log also. And uh, the 2 I need to change to the log, I need to refer to the second term. And um, we need to know that the base of the second term, the base of log is e, so the same will apply on the first term. We need to change the 2 into the log base of e. So how do I change into the base log of e? I need to multiply the 2 by log e because uh, log e to the base of e equals to 1 eh? plus log x plus 1. After that, to make sure that we can uh, use the apply the rules of log, I will bring the 2 up and become the power of the e. Okay, and the second term just copy down. After that, Check the base, they're having the same base and the operation is the addition. I need to combine them just by uh, multiply e square by the x plus 1. For the example n, we might we have to know that what does it mean by the lg. Lg is means the log having the base of 10. Alright, lg a is equal to the log a to the base of 10. So this is a common log. Uh, it's just a simple matter. Everything will be will apply. We will apply the same concept. First thing, we need to combine them into the single log. First, we need to check whether the coefficient of this uh, log uh, is it one. If it hasn't become one, we need to convert it into one by taking the two become the power of five plus lg that is log base of ten of seventy. All right, and then after that. They, uh, these two terms having the same base, that is the base of 10, and the operation between them is an addition. We can combine them just by uh, multiply the 5 squared by the 7. Simplify it. You have the log 1, 7, 5, 0. This is the last question in this video. We have a both, we have two terms. Having the two terms of log having the base of uh, 5 and the operation is minus. Just combine them by taking the 64 divided by uh, 4. Further simplify, you have uh, 64 divided by 4 is equivalent to 16.